Uh, hi everyone, my name is Brent Grant. I'm the founder and CEO of Evertrue. We're a vertical SaaS solution for the higher education advancement market. Uh, that was me growing up in Iowa. I was the oldest of three boys with the best pigs in all of Winnesheet County. Um, and I show this photo because at that time in my life, one of my goals was to be the first member of my family to go to college. I was very fortunate to get recruited by Brown University to play football, uh, where I joined the team as the eighth string fullback, and we passed for roughly 400 yards a game. So it was not an ideal spot on the depth chart, um, but I ended up being captain of the team my senior year, and it was really a life-changing experience. I got access to mentors through the Alumni Association who helped me navigate the career search process. I didn't have a family network that I could rely on, and it all ultimately led me to my first job at an investment bank in Chicago called William Blair & Company. Uh, I moved out to Chicago, I didn't know anybody, so I Googled Brown Club of Chicago, and I went to a meeting, and I left that meeting the young alumni coordinator of the Brown Club of Chicago. Uh, and I ended up just getting really involved with the community out there. Um, one of the people I met along the way was a guy who was the CEO of Madison Dearborn Partners who hired me. I spent two years uh, working there. And from there, I applied to Harvard Business School, got accepted. And when I got out to uh, Boston, somebody from Brown reached out and they said, Brent, we know you love the school. Change your life. You volunteered uh, really well for us in Chicago. Your fifth reunion's rolling around. Would you be willing to help work on your fundraising campaign? And I said, of course. How could I not? What do I do to help? And they sent me this, which was a spreadsheet from their database of my classmates. And I looked at it, and it was mostly inaccurate. So I called them, and I told them, I'm happy to help, but a lot of this information is out of date. And they said, we know. As you make your calls, please update the spreadsheet and send it back to us so we can import it into our system. I said, really? That's how an Ivy League institution that's raising $200 million is equipping volunteers like me? Have any of you ever gotten a spreadsheet like this or been on the other end of, of that? And, um, and this was at a time, this was 2009, 2010, when what were the trends? Mobile was exploding, Facebook was maturing, LinkedIn was maturing. All of these names in these spreadsheets, they weren't lost alumni. They were more findable than ever before. There was just a huge disconnect between who all of you are, who we are, and what the school thought we were in their legacy databases that they happened to be spending hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to buy and maintain. And so, that created an opportunity. Uh, I then went on to learn not only was it a bad experience for me as a volunteer, but they were getting those spreadsheets from that screen in the upper left. They were sending it to phonathon callers who were calling you at 8 p.m. on Tuesday night, hoping that that would be a good way to solicit a donation. They were following it up with very expensive, completely untailored direct mail, and then driving you to giving experiences that looked like they were from the early 2000s. This is a time when we're all being accustomed to expect simplicity, mobility, in every other part of our lives, yet this $60 billion higher ed fundraising market was taking legacy data, legacy systems, driving us to legacy conversion, um, and raising a lot of money in spite of it all, not because of it. Our vision is that there needs to be a vertical cloud solution that is really tailored to this market. When you look at alumni relations and development, it is marketing and sales. In every other business, that whole customer life cycle has been modernized through a combination of native experiences and intelligent integrations, and that's what we're bringing to this market, really sitting down with alumni relations professionals, with major gift officers, and everything in between, and making sure that we can connect the dots so that instead of out-of-date spreadsheets, we're looking at accurate modern software and system that's just as easy to use as things like Zillow or Amazon. Um, overall, nonprofits raised $350 billion. Higher ed is a big slug of that, coming in at around $60 billion. We think when you look at the advancement market, there's 4,000, let's call it, higher ed institutions. Um, we think there's a half a billion to billion dollar addressable market. Um, and when you look at what the top 100 universities alone spend on development, they're spending $2 billion. Now, most of that's not on software. It's on really inefficient human capital pulling spreadsheets for people like me. But we think a lot of that spend can be shifted to more intelligent modern software. There is a uh, real transition in the market happening as those legacy systems all embark upon a multi-year cloud conversion finally in 2017, where it's causing these schools to really reevaluate their advancement tech stack for the first time in 15, 20, in some cases, even 30 years. So it's a really exciting time in an industry that doesn't move very quickly, in an office that doesn't move very quickly, where there really is a catalyst for change. We're working with over 350 leading institutions, ranging from Stanford, Brown, 
around Cornell, um, MIT, all the way down to some of the most elite K-12 private schools. These really are the top fundraisers um, by vertical. Uh, and there's a huge amount of referenceability in this market. We have a very strong team. Um, uh, I've surrounded myself with experts. I was an amateur, but I've learned uh, a fair amount along the way. VP Eric Das just joined us from Constant Contact, and there's a lot of parallel themes and what they've executed on uh, that can be applied here. Our primary investor is Bain Capital Ventures. Um, and uh, you know we are in the process of scaling our sales team um, and looking to add some financial partners. So if, um, if nothing else, for those of you who raised your hand and got that outdated spreadsheet, if any of you are involved with your schools or your kids' schools and you think that you'd like to see a more modern take on advancement software, feel free to shoot me a note at uh, brent at evertrue.com. And if this could be a fit for you uh, from an investment perspective, happy to chat as well. Thank you.